G'day, g'day guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, what I'm going to be doing is covering Dying Light's biggest DLC, the following. And all I gotta say is, wow. Like, I praised um, Dying Light a lot in my other video, and for good reason. This one improves upon everything, everything the game offered. There's more loot. Uh, more zombies, like massive hordes of zombies to kill in the in the fields, running them over, and you like you get a buggy in this, and it is so entertaining to drive around, just mowing down hordes of zombies, leveling up your buggy so you can do it way more efficiently. It is just so much more fun. And what I said about the story not being the greatest in the um Dying Light, the base game, or the base game of Dying Light. The story is way better in the DLC. Honestly, like, once you get through Dying Light, and if you don't think it's the greatest, get this DLC, you will change your mind. Or not change your mind, but the normal, D like, the base game. But the actual DLC is just ugh, leagues, but it's just so much better. And, well, it's also as much as better as it is than the base game. It is also a hell of a lot more difficult. Um, there are lots of bombers, so when you're driving around, they've got these zombies that, like, explode, which attracts a shitload of virals, which are the, the running daytime zombies. And it can get in the way. That's what I say. That's, like, the one down thing I have to say about this DLC, is that it can be annoying to have those bombers, because they pop up all the time, and it just gets very frustrating and irritating. But other than that, it's not a huge deal. Um... Yeah, like I said, there's a lot more loot. There are these towers all over the countryside that has, like, these they're, they're towers all over the countryside, just repeating myself, that has, like, all this loot, if you can climb it. There are police cars everywhere that you can get, like, amazing loot out of. And there's also, well, car parts. You can salvage gasoline or petrol out of the cars. You can um, go through the engine and get a whole bunch of loot out of them, too. Um, you can add to the gasoline, not just use it, or petrol, out. <laughs> uh, damn. I keep getting messed up, you know. Anyways, the... So you can use them to make, like, these really, really good Molotovs. You've got the standard ones, and these are, like, improved ones that do more damage, and they cover a larger air, um, radius. Uh, there's also these, like, volatile caves that you can go through. They are very creepy and very difficult. Um, there are also, like, these really big dudes from, like, like, boss zombies, kind of, like, scattered throughout the DLC, that is, they're fun to go through, you gotta be high level, but, like, this is what I mean, like, you've got to be kind of skilled at the game, and you've got to, well, it does recommend you do go into the game at, like, Survivor Rank 12 at the minimum, because it is just a lot more difficult. Even the base regular zombies are way more difficult. They take more hits, and there are these big ones that knock you on the ground. They can just be a pain in the rectum. But um, you've got your normal supply grate drops. Like you've also got um, what is it called? Yeah, like I said, the zombie caves. But you've also got these like big shipping containers that are full filled with loot as well. Uh, that's like kind of just all like I gotta say really. Gameplay is. 10 out of 10 for me. The story, yeah, I'd say it's a 10 out of 10. It's not the most motivating, but you don't go into a zombie game expecting the Witcher 3 level of storytelling. You go in there expecting to kill zombies, which is what you do. And based off that, the story, and like based off what I just said, for a zombie game, the story is probably the best story I've played when it comes to zombie games. I know this the Left 4 Dead series, but I never got into them. I yeah, just wasn't a huge fan of them. So, um, and there's also this group, like, I won't spoil anything, so, there's also this group you've got to, like, preview yourself to, where you can get more loot, but that progresses the story, so, yeah, that's all i got to say. This, the game, like, this DLC is probably the best, one of the best pieces of DLC I've ever bought and played. So, if you've liked this video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos, like, reviews and normal gameplay and such. Uh, peace.